What's up Revo fans? Today we are out here with an absolute beauty of a bike. We have the all new Specialized Levo SL. This thing has been completely redesigned from the frame up. We've been lucky to be uh, out on the trails for about a month on it now, really getting to know the, the differences and enhancements over the previous model. Starting of which is the all new SL motor. So this has a lot of uh, different features and a lot more power than the previous version. This thing's packing 50 Newton meters of torque now, which is a 43% increase over the last version, which is astronomical. We're almost getting to the early full power motors uh, with our SL motors now. This thing weighs 1.95 kilograms, so the motor itself is a featherweight. Coupled with that is a 320 watt hour main battery. Uh, now you can also get the range extender for these, Specialized offer a bottle cage range extender, uh, which I think is about 160 watt hours uh, added onto that. I absolutely love these SL uh, bikes. So I'm not sure what the actual weight of this thing is yet. We haven't weighed it. Um, we haven't been provided with all of the details as of filming this. Um, but it feels like it's sub 17, I think. Uh, and it rides truly like a regular enduro bike. Uh, we're packing 160 millimeters up front on the fork and 150 millimeters now uh, for the Levo SL. The geometry package uh, is adjustable. So we've got the three adjustments on the head angle and we've now got a flip chip, which is not denoted as a high and a low. It's now denoted as a 27.5 and a 29 option out in the rear. This thing comes out of the box as a mullet, the same as the regular Levo does these days. So you've also got that 29 inch option or a high and a low, like we used to sort of call it. Uh, but yeah, all in all, the actual drivetrain of the bike, the motor, the power, the way it delivers that power is very, very different from the original SL motor. And I've absolutely been loving it out on the trails. It's quite a bit uh, quieter than the previous motor as well, I'm noticing, as well as the general trail noise and refinements over the frame is quite a lot better and quite a lot more subtle uh, as far as the e-bike actually goes. I've been picked up a couple of times out on the trails now with people questioning, is this actually an e-bike? Uh, we've got the Specialized Mastermind TCU up on the front here and the regular uh, Specialized controller on the handlebars. This bad boy is coming coupled with the new uh, Specialized app. You get over the, uh, over the air updates, all these types of things for the software. All in all, I've been really, really impressed by this total package. Specialized have knocked this one out of the park again. They really are market leaders in the SL uh, sort of revision. They're refining them uh, and really pushing the limits of what these SL bikes can be. I'm super excited to get out on the trails more on this thing and really push it. Uh, but for now, yeah, that's our first intro, guys. Enjoy.